On this week's tip jar, we're going to give you tips on how to decorate a nylon cinch pack. I've already loaded my cat cut 3M reflective material into a vinyl cutter and began to cut my design. Then we'll weed it and heat apply it. You'll notice this material sticks to my hands a little bit when I'm weeding. That's because it has a pressure sensitive carrier, which comes in handy if you accidentally pick up a piece of your design, then you can simply push it back down without ruining the whole design. You'll notice that I'm using a Teflon pillow inside my cinch pack. This will help ensure that I get even pressure by offsetting the seams. I'm using a flexible application pad as my cover sheet when heat applying the cinch pack. This is just one type of cover sheet that you can use when heat applying. Since CatCut 3M Reflective is a cold peel, I'm using a heat eraser to remove the heat. If you were doing multiple jobs, you could simply set the items aside and peel cold later. earlier when I told you that there were multiple cover sheets you could use, here we're using our craft paper. As an add-on, we're going to decorate the back of our cinch pack by personalizing with each swimmer's name. To do this, we're going to use Gorilla Grip 2. Gorilla Grip 2 is a great CAD cut choice whenever you're decorating nylons. This week's tip jar was suggested to us by one of our YouTube viewers. If there's something you'd like to see on an upcoming tip jar, send me your suggestions. 